everyone, my name is Tatiana, and today I will be making a different Valentine for you out of bugs. This is the Entomology uh, die set by Sizzix, and there is a matching stamp set, but I don't have it. So I've already cut out the bugs out of black cardstock, and as you can see, they're looking quite bug-like, and that was starting to creep me out a little bit because I don't really like bugs. And so I decided that I would brighten them up a little bit by painting them. And so I'm going to use four different colors of Dina Wakely paint. Uh, the color names are Fuchsia, Carnation, Blushing, and Orchid. Uh, I may add other colors, but for now I'm going to start with these four colors and see where we go. All right, so I didn't have any plan for this painting session. I just picked four colors of my Dina Wakely paint collection that I thought would look nice together, and I started painting. And at some point I realized that my in my head, what I had envisioned was that all four of these colors were going to wind up on each bug uh, in a sort of a, a, like a striped way. I just had this loose idea of what I wanted the bugs to look like and then when I started painting the paint started to sort of just all go together which paint does when you mix it and I think that's because I wasn't really thinking too hard about what I was doing I was just dipping the brush in and painting but then at some point um, as happens when you do something you get better as you go along and I slowed it down here so that I could show you that I think it was with this bug that I started to get better or you know do more of what I thought I wanted to do and that was create a bug coloring with all four of the colors so this butterfly um, I did exactly what I wanted to do I colored it, the wings one color, the middle another color, and then I added another color, and the bug turned out exactly the way I had hoped all the bugs would turn out. So then I just continued um, from that point doing that, trying to make more stripes than having it all me meshed together. And then when I was done, I realized that all of the bugs were looking kind of too purple. I wanted them to be pink and purple. And so I just squished out a whole bunch of, I think that's carnation, the color carnation. And I just started painting this color on top of the purple. And this time I made sure that I stuck to one side of the bug only so that I didn't create a mono colored bug again. So I just picked one side of the bug and colored it with that pink. Uh, paint. Now at this point I'm choosing a die to cut out the bugs with and the die is a nesting hearts die from Hero Arts and so I've put it there just as a template for me to put my bugs down and I started putting the bugs all facing upwards and then it was looking kind of boring so and the bugs weren't fitting together properly so what I did was I started I realized that I wanted the bugs to be as densely packed in that heart as possible so that I could fit as many of the bugs in as I could possibly get and that meant that I had to start turning them different ways and um, that's a good thing because it just packed them in there and made made it look more um, dense and also I wanted to use up um, as many of the bugs as possible because I had just, you know, finished making a whole bunch of them and I didn't think I was going to be making more than one card. So I'm using press and seal there, as you can probably see, and um, I just press the press and seal down and it keeps them all together so that I can just put glue on the back and put, put it right on the card. And then I wanted to cut the excess press and seal off, but it's really difficult to do that. If you ever try to cut press and seal with scissors, it, like it's, I don't know, it doesn't cut well, and you know, that's fine, but I, I didn't realize that it, it's, um, you should probably use a craft knife if you want to do that. Anyway, here I'm gluing the bugs, and I, I really sped this up, and in my mind, I realized that 
if I glue, sat there and glued, put glue on all of the bugs, that by the time I finished with the last bug, the first bug would probably be dry and it wouldn't stick to the paper. So I decided to just glue two or three bugs at a time. And as you can see, I'm, I'm pressing the bugs down onto a piece of paper before I put them down so that the excess glue um, squishes onto the piece of paper and not onto my work surface because I wasn't really being all that careful um, when I put the glue on the bugs and because I knew I was going to, you know, stamp off or glue off onto this piece of paper. Um, and I, it seems like every time I put glue on an embellishment or something, it squishes out the side and goes onto my card and ruins it. And it drives me insane. So this time I actually, that time I think I may have forgotten to, to um, press it onto the paper, but uh, it worked out and I didn't see any excess glue. So I was pretty happy about that. So, um, see how the press and seal stuck to itself there? It's really, you have to be very careful with it. It, it stuck to itself and I had to, I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to get it back. It's very, very sticky, which is, you know, the, one of its properties. And that's the reason that we use it for this particular purpose. So it's good that it's sticky. Anyway, it worked really well here and I loved, um, that it just held them all together and when you go to peel it off, it peels right off and everything's perfect. Okay, so I'm fitting my last bug into its space here at the top of the heart. And when I'm all done with that, I'm going to cut out um, the general shape of the heart because, of course, the whole thing won't fit through my die cutting machine. And yeah, so I'm just going to chop it out and... Then I thought, uh oh, when I put this through my die cutting machine, are the, like they were freshly painted. So I thought, is that going to stick to the top of my die cutting plate? So I, as you can see, I put a piece of wax paper there because I just had a feeling that that was just going to stick. So anyway, I put the wax paper there and that now I'm cutting down a piece of coordinating um, cardstock to six by six because I wasn't sure how big I wanted this card to be and six by six is probably the biggest and I could have left it like that but eventually I did cut it down a little more and as you can see here I have taken some puffy stickers and those are from Felicity Jane. I absolutely love these puffy stickers. I wish so much I would have bought more of these but as you may know Felicity Jane has gone out of business and now I can't get any more of them, but isn't that always the case? So anyway, I had them on a piece of wax paper set out the way that I thought I wanted them to look. And, you know, I kind of, I kind of wish I would have left them like that because I liked the way that looked, but then I didn't want to glue each one of these letters. Like I thought if I take these and just stick them down onto this painted uneven surface, I don't think these stickers are going to stick. I just had this premonition that they weren't going to stick. So I thought I'll put them on a strip of black cardstock and then I'll glue that down and it'll be a lot easier and it they'll probably stick better to this cardstock. So I did, but so when I got them down onto this strip of black cardstock, I thought, you know what? I like it just like this. It's simple and I think I'm just going to leave it. So I did. So I think it would have looked nice the other way too, but hindsight is 50-50 and I chose the other way. So anyway, here's me um, trimming that down to five and a half by five and a half, which I felt was better. And so I'm just lining it up. And I think that that looks better because there was a lot of white space before. And I'm going to put foam tape on the back of the heart for some dimension. And I really like this foam tape. It's one of the newer foam tapes that are not as high, like not as thick as the most foam tape used to be. Now we have choices with foam tape. And this one is probably, I would say, two millimeters deep. So that, you know, there's not as much chance, I don't think, of your card sort of, if you put it through the mail, I don't think there's as much chance of the parts of your, you know, the thing that you're sticking up, um, collapsing 
from pressure because it just isn't that high to begin with. And it's just enough height that it gives a bit of a shadow and you can tell that it's popped off of the card. And I really like that new foam tape. I don't know the name of it and it's a problem for me because I would like to order more of it and I don't know what it's called. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so now I'm putting some glue on the back of my puffy stickers and as you can see I'm wiping off the excess and I'm just going to pop it right down on there and center it and I think it looks great. Now normally that's where my card would end and I would just be happy with a card and I'm doing some karate chops there to keep it sent, um, stuck down. But this time I thought I'm going to start decorating the insides of my cards. I think I just think it looks, it's a nice surprise when you open up the card and um, so anyway I did and I just took a, you know the same cardstock I used to put the bugs down onto and cut it a little smaller and stuck it on the inside and then I had an extra bug left over so I glued that bug to the inside of the card so that the um, inside would be you know connected to the outside in some way and why waste a colored bug when you don't have to? So once again, I'm going to take this bug and I'm going to wipe the excess glue off because if the excess glue can squirt out onto my card, it will. And I know that because it's happened to me many, many times. So there we are um, sticking it down and it didn't squirt out because now I have this wonderful trick where I just wipe it off. I tell you. Anyway, so I was a little bit worried that the paint from that, um, the top of the bug would, you know, over time it might um, come off on the inside of the front of the card, but I'm just going to have to take that chance. Uh, okay, so I cut down the front of the card with a knife. I didn't show it here, but I cut it down slightly so that it's matted um, I just thought it added something to it to make it a little bit smaller than the, the uh, card base. And here I am lining it up. And then I'm going to massage it. It looks like I'm giving this card a massage, but what I'm doing is making sure that the glue is stuck. And after I do that, the card is complete. And I think it looks great. So thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.